Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about protein synthesis today. So that's going to be uh, the making of a protein. Uh, most people think of, when they think of protein, they think of, uh, you know, food, uh, food-based proteins. Oops. So our meats, our cheeses, our fishes. Uh, we're going to be talking about it in terms of uh, the molecular level. So what does it look like uh, as a molecule? Uh, this is hemoglobin. Uh, this is the molecule that carries uh, oxygen in red blood cells, but it's a type of protein. And there's many, 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 many uh, different functions of proteins, and we'll be talking about a few of them. But today we're going to be focusing on uh, how to make them. So let's move this over a little bit. So a protein, all it is is a long string of amino acids. We kind of abbreviate it as AA. Uh, and it folds into various structure. The way it folds will give it its function. If it doesn't fold correctly, it's not going to be functional. What is a gene? Uh, it's just a segment of DNA. We talked about DNA uh, structure last, last uh, video. Uh, each gene is going to have a specific function, and that function is going to be to code for a specific protein. So each gene will make a different protein. I mean, might need to pause that just to write it down. RNA, ribonucleic acid, just like DNA in terms of uh, what its composition is, but its structure is a little bit different. Uh, it's only single-stranded, so it only has the one strand unlike the double-stranded DNA, in other words, a single helix. And the big difference here is it doesn't use thymine. It uses uracil, so it use, still uses the GC, but instead of uh, A is going with T's like it does in, in DNA, A's pair with U. And remember, it's always complementary, so you don't even need to know uh, what this one would be because if there's a G there, you know it has to be paired with a C. Uh, and why is RNA so important? It's, it's kind of an intermediary. So it changes DNA, brings a message uh, to, pro to the ribosome where proteins are made. Uh, DNA is too big to get out of the nucleus, and so it changes its message into RNA so it can squeeze through the nuclear pores and, and go to the ribosome where proteins are made. Three types of RNA that we care about. Uh, the first one is the most important one for our uses, uh, mRNA. What we're going to be talking about today is how to turn DNA into RNA. Ribosome RNA, we're not going to talk about much at all. All you need to know is that it makes up the ribosomes, which make the proteins. And then transfer RNA, which we're going to be talking about in next day's video when we talk about actually producing that protein. So pause it, write this one down. Uh, gene expression. All this means is once a gene is turned on, which means once uh, transcription is uh, occurring, uh, you're going to start to produce some RNA, which is going to be changed into, uh, or which is going to go to the ribosome, where amino acids are going to be arranged and turned into a protein. Two big steps. One is called, oops, one is called transcription, and the other one is called translation. Uh, transcription is where DNA is changed into RNA. Translation is where RNA is going to tell the amino, acids, amino acids which order to be uh, arranged in. So this will be tomorrow, and we'll do this part right now. So I know this kind of looks a little bit uh, overwhelming at, at parts, but just know that we're just trying to get the content down and we'll deal with the understanding uh, next day. So here is our original strand of DNA. And what happens, just like in replication, it has to be unwound. Nucleotides are going to be added, but instead of DNA nucleotides, it's going to be uh, RNA. So what happens is we have something called a promoter region, which means it's the start. So for example, it might have been uh, right around here. So this is the RNA that's already been made. Uh, and what happens is this RNA is going to be uh, looking for a spot to, to bind to. Just like we'd had last time with DNA polymerase, we have an RNA polymerase which is going to do two functions. It's going to uh, open uh, the DNA up, just like the helicase did before, and it's going to join the RNA nucleotides uh, in a complementary fashion to the DNA. So it's almost the same procedure where it's going to open up our DNA, but instead of uh, DNA molecule or nucleotides being added, it's going to be RNA. Okay. 
The next thing that we're looking at is the processing. So after we have our RNA strand, uh, so it's, it's imagine that this was our, our DNA. Oops, oh, interesting. Well, uh, our DNA, it, after the RNA binds to it, it closes back up again, okay? And now we just have this RNA strand with all of our different uh, nucleotides attached to it. Uh, but there's certain regions that we don't like, and there's certain things that have to happen before it's uh, able to leave the nucleus. One is that a guanine cap has to be added. So it just means that these little uh, guanine parts are gonna be there instead. And then the other thing is that a, a bunch of adenosines are gonna be added, okay? So two parts for the processing, which is gonna be added. And then the last thing is that there's certain sections of DNA that didn't really have a whole lot of function for this protein. So what it has to do, it has to get them cut out. And so they're called uh, introns. So introns are gonna get cut out. So if you look at this, here is our uh, DNA. It gets transcribed or changed into RNA. It gets capped right here with our guanine. It gets its introns cut out. And then we add our adenosine tail. And now it's fully functional. So what do we need to know for next day? Know that there's a relationship between DNA and genes, that they make it up, and between amino acids and proteins. Know the differences between DNA and RNA. Know the steps of transcription. And then the last, the processing steps. This is what we'll spend the most amount of time on next day. So make sure if you have any questions, which you should have quite a few, jot them down. We'll talk about them in our discussion group. Okay, have a good night.